Well, welcome back to Pumpkin Cars. It looks like it's a kind of a weekly uh, meeting with uh, you guys, so that's great. I said that already last week, but I'm going to say it one more time because we're on Monday. Tonight it's going to be very brutal with the, the snow and the bad weather and everything. So, again, to protect our cars, a couple of like little tips. Exactly what uh, Mariah did on that car. She parked at the uh, lovely BMW, and you can see the wipers are still on. She basically parked the car, but she left the wipers on. That means if that car was outside, it's not. That car is lucky. That car is inside our showroom at Pumpkin, so it's going to be cozy, and, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be dry tomorrow morning. But if that car was outside, uh, the problem would be tomorrow morning, if it's frozen, if it gets really cold, and you know, uh, you would, when you turn the ignition on, then what's going to happen, this wipers uh, still uh, being on, uh, they would try to move. Being frozen on the windshield, you would just blow the, the, the wiper motors. Very expensive. So keep in mind, today is raining, tonight is raining. When you park your car, if your car stays outside, just make sure the wipers are off, are turned off. The second thing you can do if you want, you can lift the wipers this way for the night, and this way you know that they're not going to stick to the windshield. That could be another thing to do as well. If you can open your door, no big deal. Most likely, you know, a little bit of, uh, of humidity is going to be around here, and it's basically frozen and stuck. As I said like, last week, you can use like a little bit of like Luke warm water, not too hot because it would be too much for the car. And you can pour a little bit of that, you know, slightly warm water here on the door. And this way it's going to just give enough, you know, it's going to release the pressure and you'll be able to open the door. If it's stuck, be very careful. Don't put like, don't pull like crazy on that door handle. It's going to stay in your hand, believe it or not. Even on the best cars like BMWs and Mercedes-Benz. It's not done to be pulled like absolutely crazy. If the door is stuck with the, because it's frozen, you need to do your thing before you open that door. It's safe. That's going to save you a lot of money as well. And uh, so that's one thing. Obviously, we are not going to be, uh, we, I shouldn't be talking about the moonroof, but I will. Because, um, yes, tomorrow we're going to have some snow on it and everything, and nobody's going to think of, you know, opening the moonroof. But maybe the next day, it's still a little bit frozen. And it's a nicer day, minimum it's not snowing. What do we do? Uh, let's just open the moonroof. If the moonroof is frozen, it's going to be even more expensive than replacing the wiper motor. Even more expensive than that. Uh, it's a lot of little gears and an expensive motor and everything. If this is frozen and you push on that button inside, you're going to blow definitely the system about the moonroof. So even if it's two or three days later, be very careful. If it's too cold outside, the moonroof, keep it closed. That's, that's going to save you a lot of money as well. And, and for the rest, you know, classic uh, tip, uh, get in a car, start the car, give it like a few minutes just to warm up a little bit. And obviously, and I know <laughs> sometimes when it's really cold, it's misery, but clean your windshield, clean your windows, clean the back window for safety, for just, you know, have like a good vision. It's very important. I know it's, it's painful and sometimes it's difficult. Uh, obviously, when you do that, try to use an appropriate tool to do it without scratching your paint or scratching your glass. We don't want to, by trying to clean our windshield, just have to pay $500 to replace it. So. Try to be gentle as well. So try to be a little bit of uh, good uh, organized. Uh, you can get something from you know all the local uh, uh, car parts stores like Advance Auto and Bay Boy and this and that. Just get a little broom with um, a little edge, and this way you can just clean that uh, gently. Um, on the side of that, well, just you know, be careful. Increase your distance on the road. It's going to be very slippery. It's going to be very tricky, and you always have like a couple of guys who think they know better, and they're going to just beat the no grip road, and they're going to be too fast. To not to avoid these guys and not hit these guys, just keep you know like like double or triple your distance. Look, if you're on the road and it's really really bad, uh, that's that's already kind of risky. So. There is no rush if you have to be on the road, uh, except if obviously the, the state says that, you know, everybody stays home. But if it's not the case and you have to go to work and, and you have to, to drive your car, 
just uh, triple the distance, just, just crawl slowly and do your thing. Again, these cars in general are not really made to be on icy road and snow and everything. Not here, we are not equipped, we don't have the right tires, we don't have like, it's not what we do on a regular basis. So just take it easy, just be safe as long as, you know, tomorrow your car is going to be just transportation. You're going to go from A to B and if it takes much more time, that's okay. Just be safe and uh, we'll see you soon, maybe next time, next week for the, for the next uh, short pumpkin car show. Thank you.